Hello there my RPG lovers and welcome to another video. Alalot Champions of the Four Kingdoms is an upcoming RPG that's being described as the first isometric Souls-like game. I was very skeptical when I read that description but after learning more about the game I think there are enough reasons to be excited. It's being developed by Gamera Interactive and Chris Avalon, one of the biggest names in the RPG industry. If you're not familiar with his work, he worked on titles like Fallout 2, Icefiend Dale, Neverwinter Nights 2, Divinity Original Sin 2, etc. On the first sight, Alalot looks like a regular classic RPG, mainly because of the isometric view. It's set in a fantasy world and, as the name suggests, there are four kingdoms that we're able to explore. These kingdoms should have vast territories with rich background and lore. Big cities, villages and what's perhaps even more interesting 40 plus houses and clans to fight for. As you would expect from a high fantasy RPG there are humans, elves, dwarves and orcs. We can choose to join the noble houses of any race and fight under their banner but by doing so we'll have to face their enemies as well. There is a reputation system in the game which will probably keep the track of our relationship with these houses and clans. I would really like to hear more about this system but unfortunately we still don't have enough info. What we do know, the world in this game will be very gritty and dark with mature themes. Developers are also claiming that Alalot will have a deep narrative so I'm guessing that we can expect a decent dialogue system. But the reason why it's described as Souls-like is obviously the combat system. We can expect a skill-driven fast-paced gameplay with mutilations, executions and similar combat moves. When we start the game and create our character, we can select one of the four playable races that we mentioned before. Every character starts off as a melee fighter but you'll be able to choose three different ways. Way of Arms, Way of Gods and Way of Nature. Each of these ways has three different professions to choose from. In this particular screenshot we can see what the Way of Gods has to offer. Well, sort of, because we can't actually see how all of this works in action. But we know that all spells and skills work on cooldowns which means we'll have to rely on our equipped weapons quite a bit. Speaking of that, the carry weight of our character will be really important. As quoted from the Steam page, it will not be possible to carry 4 or 5 different armors and the same is for weapons. Everything is strictly connected with the weight you can carry. This makes me a bit worried because I personally prefer vast inventories in RPGs. Although if it makes sense and if it's implemented properly, this shouldn't be a big issue. There are still a lot of things that we don't know so I'm guessing we just need to wait for more information rather than speculating. There is obviously a stamina system which will be used as our primary resource in combat. This was to be expected because you can't have a souls-like combat system without a stamina bar, right? Besides three ways that we can choose, we also have racial skills, but so far we only know that we'll be able to pick one racial skill in the beginning. There is also crafting in this game and apparently we'll have to repair our gear from time to time. It's not that I don't like this mechanic but it always has the potential to be tedious. You'll be able to recruit 12 different companions during your journey and each of them should have a deep backstory. But here comes something we don't see every day when it comes to RPGs. Alalot will have a local split screen co-op and PvP. Local multiplayer and co-op up to 4 players, group with other players or fight them to get access to the final battle. I'm not really sure what they mean by the final battle but I'm always looking forward to local co-op features, especially the split screen mode. Another really interesting if not a bit concerning feature is about resurrecting our character upon death. A permadeath option will be included but in a standard run you can be killed by mobs and champions. Champions are other players by the way. A grave will appear and you'll have to resurrect before claiming back all your stuff but be aware it can be looted and you're going to lose everything. So I'm guessing this only works in the multiplayer mode but it raises some concerns. Since our inventory is limited we probably won't lose a lot of stuff but this can still cause a lot of frustrations. If we get some sort of a stash where we can store our gear that would probably eliminate a lot of frustrations but we'll see. Alalot is basically the name of the final boss in the game and if I understood correctly we'll basically need to collect some artifacts and unite the four kingdoms before we get to fight him. After we finish our first playthrough we'll get to unlock more game modes which should give us even more options for exploring the kingdoms and customizing our characters. This could mean a couple of things but we don't know exactly how it's gonna work. Maybe we get to unlock more difficulty settings which is kinda the standard for ARPGs or something like a modern new game plus option that we can find in most newer RPGs. Whatever this might be it's going to be interesting to see it. 
And that would cover everything we know so far about this game. The release date is 2020 and besides PC it should be on Xbox One as well. Unfortunately I couldn't find any info about the PS4 version but if you know something about this feel free to leave a comment. If you like the video do me a favor and press the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Click on the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube exclusive members and if you as well want to become one of them all the links are in the description. Thanks a lot for the amazing support that I've been getting recently. It really really means a lot. That will be all and I'll see you in the next one.